Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're talking about 16 different camera mounts you can use while fishing. So, stick around. Today, we're talking about 16 different camera mounts you can use to take pictures or videos, to do live streams while you're fishing. Whether it be boat fishing, bank fishing, kayak fishing. These mounts can help you mount your camera and get some great shots. Today, fishing and cameras go hand in hand. Ever heard of CPR? It stands for Catch, Photo, and Release. A lot of people put fish back in after they catch them so someone else can catch it. So today's video is about different ways to mount your camera. So let's get into it. Okay, the first set of mounts we wanna talk about is standard basic GoPro mounts. When you buy a GoPro, you get a lot of mounts in the kit. They come with a little double-sized sticky tape and they come with different mounts. You can put your GoPro in one of these little clips and it'll lock into one of these bases. This is a standard camera mount for a GoPro. It's a quarter 20 thread so anything with a quarter 20 bolt on it, it's going to screw on to. This here you can put your GoPro on. You can put it around your wrist or you can wrap it around a tree or something. Use it for a tripod. And this blue thing, I get a lot of questions about. People ask me a lot, what's the blue thing on the bottom of your GoPro? And all it is is a standard camera mount, quarter 20 thread, but it's made out of aluminum. It's made better than the ones that come with the GoPro. And I just trust it a little more not to break on me. So I use it. Now these mounts, they're solid aluminum. They're made really good. They have quarter 20 threads, so you can mount it with a standard camera mount. This part here twists around 360 degrees, so you can get it at any angle. And the back part here is basically for like clamping on the handlebars or clamping on to something round. But these have Allen bolts in them, so when you put it on, it's kind of permanent. And I bought these two mounts for something I'm working on. It's an underwater camera. And that video will be coming when it warms up. But GoPro makes one like it. And it basically does the same thing, but it's a little easier to put on and take off. But you can get one of these pretty cheap. These cost a little bit more because they're a lot better mounts. These here would be really good additions to somebody's boat if they wanted to mount their camera on it so they could take some pictures or do a live stream or something. These here mounts are for cell phones. And this one is probably the cheapest one. You can probably get one of these for a dollar. But they all have quarter 20 thread on the bottom. So you can mount them to anything that'll hold a camera. This one here is a little step up from the first one I showed you. You turn this top knob, it'll open the whole thing up so different size phones can fit in it. This one is a little bit bigger. It has a quarter 22. It has a little bit more adjustment. But this one will open up wide enough to put a tablet in. But this one's my favorite. This is the one I use most of the time. It's solid aluminum. It's a lot stronger. It has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom, just like the rest of them. And you open it with this top lever. These are phone mounts. If you don't have a camera, cell phones work really good nowadays for taking pictures or recording video. This is a tripod. And most people knows what a tripod is. But this is a tripod that adjusts to just about any height. I think this thing adjusts out to six and a half, seven foot tall. And I'm tall, so I like a tall tripod. These are tripods too, but they're mini tripods. And these you could use on your boat. This one here is my favorite. It's a DJI. And it's not a cheap tripod. It's made out of aluminum, but it's really sturdy. But as far as adjustment, there's not a lot of adjustment in it. This tripod's a lot cheaper, but you can open it up and you can adjust your camera to different angles. And they both have quarter 20 screws on the top. So you can mount 
any typical camera or GoPro or phone or anything to it. Like for example, you could screw your phone mount on here. You can put your phone in it and it'll hold your phone for you. This next mount here is pretty cool. I put a quarter 23 in the top. This port's made out of PVC, so it'll screw into any rod holder. And you can just mount it right on your rod holder in your boat. And I made this mount on a hack video I have. You can go check it out because it turned out really cool and it's pretty dang useful. This is not a camera, it's a light. But the mount is pretty cool. It's a ball mount. And I think I give like $3 for this thing off of Amazon. It has a quarter 20 thread that'll mount into your camera. See this handle right here? You can turn the handle and loosen it and you can adjust the camera different ways. And it having quarter 20 thread on the bottom, it can mount to just about any other mount. And it basically makes any mount you have very adjustable. Most people know what selfie sticks are, but these are really cool. You can extend them out longer and you can get some great shots with it. This particular selfie stick, I think it costs 30 bucks or something. You can use them to get your camera up higher. You could stick a GoPro under the water and get some cool shots. There's just unlimited applications for a selfie stick. It's a great mount to have on your boat. And this one's a lot like it. It's a floating selfie stick. All it is is hollow on the inside. It has a threaded end, so you could screw it into a camera mount if you wanted. But this inside is hollow, so if you drop your GoPro in the water, it's going to float, and you ain't going to lose it. And I do have a video where I made one out of PVC, and I put foam on the inside to make it a little bit more buoyant and put a bolt in the end. But you can go check that video out. It's pretty dang simple to make your own. And these things aren't real cheap. This next mount is called a magic arm. And I really, really like this mount. I actually done a review on it a couple of years ago. Somebody off of Amazon sent me one and I did a review for them. But I talked about it on there. You can go back and watch it if you want to. It's really, really cool mount. The only thing that hadn't held up on it, it got a little bit of surface rust on the chrome, but it don't hurt it. This bottom part will clamp on to anything and it's strong. The top part has a quarter 20 thread, so you can mount any camera to it, but it's got a joint here, here, and here. And you adjust it to the way you want it. And once you lock this middle down, it won't move no more. And it's so strong, I hung my camera bag on it on the last video. If you go on Amazon and punch in magic arm, you'll find these. They're really cool mounts and they work great on your boat. This mount here is a lot like the magic arm. I call it a little magic arm, but it'll clamp onto anything and the end's adjustable. It's just not as adjustable as the magic arm, but this one's a lot smaller and easier to take with you. This mount right here, I made a couple of years ago, and it's a floaty mount for a GoPro. And the GoPro screws onto this quarter 20 bolt on the top, and you can put it in the water. It has pool noodles on it, so it floats really good. You just drop it in the water, and you can get some cool shots with it. Well, I just made a video to where I made another one that comes apart. It's basically the same thing as the first one, but I made this one so you can take it apart and store it easier. But if you're the type that wants to do some filming and do some interesting stuff besides just taking pictures of your fish, you ought to build you one of these. They don't cost very much and you can get some really cool shots with them. The next mount is probably one of my favorite mounts there is and it's a hot shoe mount. A hot shoe mount is to mount on top of your camera and you can mount microphones, you can mount flashes. You can put a light on top of your camera if you're in a really dark situation. This one has a hot shoe on the bottom, a camera mount on the top, and it's like a ram ball mount to where you have all kinds of adjustments. This one has a hot shoe and it has a quarter 20 on the top. Like if you wanted to mount this to the top of your camera, then you could put a GoPro on top of your camera. And this one is a double hot shoe mount. 
You can put like a camera on one side and a light on the other one if you're fishing in the dark on your boat. And the bottom has a hot shoe mount, so you can mount this onto your boat. And that way you got light where you're filming at. And this next mount is pretty cool. This one's called a Go Motion Time Lapse. What it is is a time lapse panner. You can put a GoPro or a camera on top of it and you wind this thing up. It comes back really, really slow. Well, you put your camera on time lapse mode and it takes a picture over five seconds. So when you take the time lapse, the scene is moving and everything in it's moving faster. But this is called a panning time lapse when you use this. I bought this one, I think it was like 20 bucks. And the bottom of it lets you mount it to a tripod. But what a lot of people do is they get an egg timer, which you can get for like five bucks or less. They take their egg timer, they take one of these little GoPro mounts with a sticky bottom on it. They stick it to it. And then when you wind it up, it does basically the same thing this one does. I have used this in a video before, but nobody probably noticed. But if a shot's done right, nobody should notice. The next mount is a magnet mount. And I talked about this on a hack video I did, and I made a video about it years ago. If you take you a really strong magnet that you can buy at Harbor Freight pretty cheap, and you put a quarter 20 bolt through the hole, then you glue a piece of felt on the bottom, you'll have a magnet mount that you can stick on top of your vehicle and you can film yourself riding down the road or unloading your boat or different things. But this magnet mount works pretty cool. It works a lot better than the suction mounts that GoPro sells. And finally, the last very useful mount is a hat mount. And I just make my own by running a quarter 20 bolt through the rim of a hat. You want to make sure you drill your hole close to the back of the brim. That way it doesn't get off balance and the front of the hat's not heavy and it's not trying to fall off your head all the time. But this one here gives you a unique hands-free shot. So try it out. So that's 16 different ways you can mount your camera while fishing. Normally I do DIYs and if you've never been on my channel before, Go check out my channel page. I got a long list of DIYs and you'll probably find something that you like. And if you do, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. And I'll see you next time.